Hi trombone players, Mr. Y here, obviously, with a little tutorial on the A-flat concert scale. Um, seventh grade, it's the fourth uh, scale on your scale sheet. We are skipping one, we're going to skip number three, the uh, E-flat concert, and go to A-flat concert, because A-flat's a little more doable at this time of year for you guys. Okay, so, obviously, first thing you want to do, always, 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 is check the key signature. In this case, you've got four flats in your key signature. If you remember the super secret of shortcut, that'll be easy, right? Okay, but... If you look closely at it, you'll see, number one, you've got B flats, obviously, that's pretty easy, normal B flats, first position. Uh, the second flat across is the E flat, again, that's easy too, third position for E flat, so you guys all know that. Uh, if you've forgotten where third position is, just remember it's about, you know, the crossbar about even with the bell of the trombone here. Um, the third flat across is A flat, that's also third position. And the A flat, you've got actually some low ones and some high ones in this case, because it is the A flat scale, so you've got that first note, the low A flat, and then the last note of the scale, the highest note of the A flat scale, is also A flat, obviously. So those are both third position. Okay. Um, then the last flat in the key signature is the D flat. D is the new one in this case. Okay. D flat is in fifth position, so it's about three or four inches beyond fourth position. You got third, you got fourth, you got fifth right here. Um, if you're not sure exactly where it is, take out your tuner, play a D flat, and make sure you use your tuning slide to adjust your your big slide. To adjust and get the thing exactly in tune. Remember, basically when you're playing the trombone, you're playing one big tuning slide, so you can get notes exactly in tune. You don't need to use this tuning slide. Well, I mean, you should adjust it to get it close there, but then as you're playing, you should be using your slide as a big tuning slide and adjusting incrementally as you go. Okay, so for number one, yeah, like I said, it starts on that A flat. Okay, um, remember you got fourth position D flat, and third position E flat and third position of one, uh, third position A flat. So there's a lot of third and fourth and um, first in this particular scale. Yeah. And for you know uh, the other stuff in this case, only C's really in this case. Okay. Uh, then we've got number two. We've got, again, of course, you're going to check the key signature. It's the same key signatures. You've still got B flats. You've still got E flats. You've still got A flats. And then you've still got the D flats, fourth position. Um, in this case, you do go one note higher at the end of the first line, just up to a high B flat, though. You guys all know that. Um, and then there is that same low G at the end of the second line also, okay? Basically, the rhythm here, since you're in 6-8, it's basically like playing triple. It's all the way through. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. At the very end, and then back down the same exact way. Okay? Should not be a really big deal. Like I said, um, you know, take it slow. Find your trouble spots. Probably some of your trouble spots in this case are going to be around the D flats, I would think, because that's the new note here, Okay? So again, number two. Make sure you use lots of air for that low G there at the end, of course, and all the low notes in general. Um, make sure you get a good sound. You can go as fast or slow as you want to when we do the quiz on this, as long as it's steady. I don't mind uh, how fast or how slow you go. If you have any questions, of course, please shoot me an email. Okay. Other than that, that should be good. Take your time. Work on your trouble spots. Focus your energy. Watch the key signature, of course. Should not be uh, really a problem in this one. Okay. Good luck.